All right, let's begin in Downward Facing Dog. We'll spread your fingers, press down through your thumb and first finger. Take a deep breath in. Bend your knees, move your chest back. Turn your triceps down a little bit. Deep breath in. And exhale. And just do that a couple times, just starting to really tune into your breath. Make it smooth and even. Push through your hands a lot. Arms are really strong, low belly pulls in. And inhale, shift forward into plank. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms. And exhale back into down dog. You can bend your knees. And inhale, shift forward to plank. And back, downward facing dog. One more time, shift forward to plank. And push back, downward facing dog. And this time, come into plank. You can lower chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Point your toes, tops of the feet on your mat. Thighs start to lift, shoulders come back. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg straight back behind you. And then step your foot all the way through. Come onto your fingertips, open your chest, breathe in, reach back through your left heel, shoulders down and back. Just nice little stretch for the inner thigh, quad, hamstring, hips. And then step the left foot forward, lengthen your spine, and fold. Inhale, lift, halfway. And then step your right foot back. Come onto your fingertips, open your chest, reach back through your right heel, plant your palms, and then down dog split, left leg goes straight up and back. Shift into plank, drop your heels to the left for side plank, take your right arm up, reach up through the top arm, and then reach it forward, bring it down, just warming up the shoulders, other side, flex your feet, firm your thighs, take your top arm up and bring it down. Lower chaturanga, inhale to up dog, and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg straight back, shift forward, place your foot down, Fingertips, open chest, reach through your right heel. Good, breathe. Still press down through your left heel. And then exhale, step your right foot forward, lengthen your spine. And then step your left foot back. Fingertips, open chest, breathe. Shoulders down. Keep your neck soft. Plant your palms. Step back, down dog split. Shift forward plank, drop your heels to the left, side plank, right arm up, reach, flex, take the top arm forward, bring it down, other side, top arm goes up and over, and then bring it down, take chaturanga, again you can always drop the knees, inhale, up dog, and back, Downward facing dog. Low belly pulls in. Press through your hands. And then look forward. You can step, you can hop to your hands. Lengthen your spine. And fold forward. Inhale all the way up to stand. Take your arms up, touch your hands. And release your hands to your side. Stand tall, let your weight rock back into your heels, firm your thighs, shoulders come back, draw your ribs in, and draw your belly in. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, lengthen your spine. And step your left foot back, drop your knee down, and then take your arms up. Breathe in, get really long, reach through your fingers, let your hips drop. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg straight back. And then shift forward, place your foot down, drop your right knee, take your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the floor and step forward. Lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale all the way to stand, take your arms up, touch your palms. Exhale, just fold forward. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot's gonna step back, drop your knee. Inhale, arms lift, look up, get really long. And then exhale, bring your hands down to the floor and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg straight back, step it through, drop your back knee, take your arms up, inhale, and exhale, hands to the floor, and step forward, lengthen your spine, and fold forward. Inhale all the way up, take your arms up, touch, and exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back into plank. And then this time, lower chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And then push back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. And just take one more inhale. And exhale. And bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop to your hands. Lengthen your spine to that half lift. Spine's really long. Shoulders back, bellies in, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale all the way up to stand, touch. Exhale, hands to your side. And we'll do that again. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. So press through your palms the whole time. Reach back through your heels. Inhale. Open up your chest and exhale, downward dog. Deep breath, strong legs, strong arms, press through your palms, look forward, bend your knees, step or hop forward, lengthen and fold. Inhale, rise up, touch, exhale, release your hands. And one more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in and breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg straight back behind you. And then step your foot all the way through. Spin your back heel down and come into warrior one. Take your arms straight up, drop your shoulders a little bit. Reach back through your left heel and then draw your low belly and your ribs in. Yeah, reach up a little bit more. And on your exhale, just bring your hands down to the floor. Keep your left hand down and take your right arm up. Take a twist. Back leg stays really strong. Pull your right hip back. Stretch through your right arm. Then bring your right arm around to your low back. A little half bind or wrap here. Roll your right shoulder back. Keep that left leg really strong. And then bend so your right knee has a right angle. And inhale, take your right arm up. Bring it down. Step back. Plank. And you can move through Chaturanga, you can hold plank, or you can push straight back into down bow. And take your left leg up, inhale, and exhale, bring it all the way through, plant your foot, spin your back heel down, come into warrior one. Try to pull your left hip back, right hip goes forward, and then try to pull your low belly in. 
reach through your fingers, breathe. Couple breaths here. Let your hips drop a little bit. On your exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Right hand will stay down. Back heel lifts, twist. Top arm goes up and really push through your right palm. Reach back through your right heel. Bring your left hand around, half wrap. Roll your left shoulder back. Maybe look up. And inhale, take your left arm up. Bring it down. Step back, plank. All right, drop your heels to the left, side plank, take your top arm up, flex your feet, firm your thighs, lift your right leg, pull it into your chest, look down, place your foot down, and then inhale, come into a crescent lunge, reach up, get really long, bellies in, and on your exhale, warrior two, open up your arms. Drop your shoulders a little bit. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step into plank. Drop your heels to the right. Left arm goes up. Flex your feet, stack them. Lift that left foot, pull your knee in. Look down, gently place your foot down. And inhale. Crescent lunge. Reach up, belly pulls in, drop the shoulders, breathe. Open up warrior two, back foot spins down. Drop your shoulders here, reach through your fingertips. Good, belly's in. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe, reach. Exhale, hands to the floor. And step forward this time, top of your mat, feet together. Lengthen and fold. Bend your knees, come into chair pose. Inhale, reach up, sit back. Sit back a little bit more. Good. Belly's in, chest stays open. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back into plank. Drop your heels to the left, flex your feet, top arm goes up, stack your feet maybe, belly's in, and then one more time, lift your leg, keep lifting your bottom hip, pull your knee in, look down, place your foot down, inhale, crescent lunge. And open up again, warrior two, spin your back foot down. This time stay here a couple breaths. Bend into your right knee, reach through your back left heel, spread your arms, gaze forward. Feel your feet pull towards each other. Breathe across your chest. Feel the power in your legs, strength in your legs. And then reach forward, extended side angle. Forearm on your thigh, top arm reaches straight up. And then one more time, a little half wrap, half bind. Roll your left shoulder back, draw your ribs in. Maybe look up. And then start to release your left hand. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step into plank. Drop your heels to the right. Flex. Lift your top arm. Don't let that right hip sink. Lift it up. Squeeze your waist in your thighs. Lift your top leg. Pull your knee in. Look down. Place it there. And inhale. Crescent lunge. Belly's in. Ribs are in. Reach through your back right heel. And then open up warrior two. Good. So separate your feet a lot. Try to get really low here. We'll stay here for a couple breaths. And shoulders drop a little, reach through your fingertips, breathe. And inhale, reverse, and reach forward and land your forearm, take your top arm up. So left hip pulls back, belly's in, bring your shoulder away from your ear. And then if you wanna try that half bind, 
the right shoulder comes back a little bit, chest turns up, a couple deep breaths. Breathe, steady. Press down through your left heel. Inhale, take your arms up. Bring yourself up, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into plank. And then this time, chaturanga. Elbows bend. Inhale to upward facing dog. And back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop to your hands. Lengthen your spine and fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Sit your hips back, press through your heels. Reach your arms up. And then come all the way up to stand and hands to your side. All right, shift the weight into your right foot. Left ankle is going to cross over your knee. Flex your left foot. Hands can come onto your hips. And elbows come back. Belly's in, ribs are in. Sit your hips back. And we'll just stay here a couple breaths. Try to keep pulling your right hip back. Deep breathing. Don't let your chest round. Keep your chest lifting up. And take one more breath. And then bring yourself up, pull your knee in. Pause, flex your foot. And drop your arms, reach down through your fingertips. Push down through your right heel. And then glide back into warrior three. Extend the left leg, left toes turn down. Chest reaches forward. So again, don't let the shoulders drop. Shoulder blades come towards each other. Low belly's in, ribs are in. Good. Start to bend your right knee. Pause, reach back through the left heel. Bend a little bit more. And then land in warrior one. Right, so you might have to scoot the right foot to the right a little bit, adjust your feet, and then take your arms up. Reach through your fingers, drop your shoulders. Take a couple breaths. Uh, keep your neck soft, and then reach your arms forward. Left arm's gonna come underneath for eagle arms. Elbows lift, breathe across your chest, maybe look forward, look beyond your forearms. Upper back spread, so think of the shoulder blades spreading, belly pulls in, maybe look up a little bit more. Inhale, release your arms. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And push back. Downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look. Step or hop. Lengthen. And fold forward. Inhale to chair pose. Hands to your heart, weight shifts to the left foot, right ankle crosses, sit your hips back, breathe, steady, smooth breath, you can have your hands on your hips, we're going to try to move your hips back, if you need to use the wall or use something to balance, you can always reach out, not only is this a deep stretch, but it's a lot of effort balancing on that one leg. Take another breath. And inhale, come to stand. You can grab onto your right knee or shin. Pause, flex your right foot. Stand up really tall on the left leg. And extend your arms down, reach down through your fingertips. Belly pulls in. Glide your right foot back for warrior three. Reach back through your hands. Arms are really engaged. Reach all the way through your pinkies. Should feel like the triceps engaged. Right toes down, belly and ribs are in. Start to bend your left knee. Keep reaching through the right foot. Bend a little bit more. And then slowly just land in warrior one. 
Take your arms up. Again, you can always scoot your left foot a little more to the left. Back leg's really straight. Reach up through your fingers. Belly pulls in. Good. And then start to take your arms forward. Right arm comes underneath for eagle arms. Elbows lift. Upper back spreads. Breathe. Think of the elbows lifting, forearms moving forward, hands lifting up, and inhale, take your arms up, exhale, hands to the floor, step back, plank, hold, breathe, heels over your toes, wrists right under your shoulders, belly is in for three, two, Lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or hop to your hands. Lengthen your spine, and fold forward. Inhale, all the way up to stand, and exhale, hands to your side. All right, let's take a big step out to the right, open your arms wide, and then turn your right toes to the back of your mat. And then you wanna bring your hands onto your hips and really tip your pelvis. The back toes turn in a little bit. Tip your pelvis. I, you, for triangle, you can always have a little bend in your right knee. Start to reach forward, press down through your heel and the big toe of your right foot. Land your hand anywhere you can reach, and then take your top arm up. So the right shoulder comes down a little bit, left arm reaches up. Keep your neck soft. You can look up, you can look down at your foot. Keep pressing down through the inside of your right foot. Steady, even breath. So you can keep stretching up with the left arm if you wanna do a half bind one more time. Bring it around. Breathe. If you want a little bit more for your core, you can reach the right arm forward. Breathe. Maybe you look forward, look out, steady breath. And inhale, reverse warrior, bend right into your right knee. Keep your arms where they are, just stretch up with the right arm. Drop the shoulders a little bit, reach. And then inhale, so warrior two, straighten your right leg, pivot your foot in. Hands come onto your hips, lift your chest, and then exhale, start to fold. You can bring your hands down, fingertips, breathe in. And you can always bend your knees a little bit. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Exhale. Bring your hands back onto your hips. Press through your feet, flat back, come all the way up. Good. Turn the left toes forward, back toes turn in a little bit. Tip your pelvis so the left hip pulls back. Start to reach with your left arm. Press through the inside of the left foot. Land your hand and then take your right arm up. So the right hip turns down just a little bit, but your ribs turn up. Now left shoulder away from your ear, top arm reaches, spread your arms, breathe across your chest, push into both feet a lot and then use your core strength to keep your upper body lifted. Right hand will come around to your back. Roll the right shoulder back. And maybe you reach forward with that left arm. Press down through your left heel, use your leg Use your core, steady breath. Good, another one. Stay with it, push through your feet. Inhale, reverse warrior all the way up. Keep dropping that left hip, look towards your hand. Inhale, straighten your leg, release your arms. This time, scoot your feet in one, one distance and then turn your toes out. Okay, you're gonna come down, slide your hands down towards your knees, 
pause. So you just want to have your toes and your knees pointing in the same direction. And then bring your shoulders down. Yeah, draw your belly in. Drop your hips, stay low. Reach your arms up, press down through your heels. And then exhale, you're gonna bring your elbows towards your ribs. Squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, pull it in. Good, inhale. And exhale. Good. And then take your arms up for goddess pose. Elbows in line with your shoulders. Three breaths. Press through your heels. Good. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. And draw your ribs in. Don't let them pop out. Belly's in. Last one. Good. Inhale. Straighten your arms and legs. And you can release your hands. All right. Turn your toes in a little bit. Bend into that right side. Yeah, bring your hands, maybe fingertips come down inside of your right foot. Yeah. Really move your butt back, keep your chest open. Press down through both feet, both heels. And then shift, other side, walk your hands over to the left. Butt goes back, press down through your heels, keep your chest open. Then walk it over to the right. This time you can turn your toes a little bit more out and then see if you can drop your hips down. Flex your left foot. Keep your neck relaxed. Maybe you turn, take a little twist, take the left arm up. Maybe you take a half bind or full bind. Breathe. Keep your neck soft. And then start to release. Shift, walk it over. Bend your left knee, flex your right foot. If your heel lifts, that's fine. And also always keep a bend in your right knee. So if you want to open up, take a twist. Maybe half, maybe full. Keep your neck soft. Breathe. All right. You're going to walk it forward towards that right foot. Plant it and then open up warrior two. And then from warrior two, we'll move into half moon pose. So you can always step your back foot in a little bit. You need a little shorter stance. Bend your right knee, look forward. Start to step into your right foot, lift your left, find balance, open up your arms, flex your left foot, breathe. If you do have a block or something under your right hand, really helpful. So you're not reaching down towards the floor. You wanna get longer on the right side of your body. Take another breath. And then slowly drop back into warrior two. Straighten your right leg, parallel your feet, fold. Bend your right knee, flex your left. Chest lifts. All right, and then we're gonna glide into warrior two. Open up your arms. And then from here, moving into half moon. So look forward. You can again always step that back foot in a little bit. Look down, set your gaze, step into your left foot, flex your right, spread your arms. Breathe. Try to really push down through your left heel. Keep your belly in, your ribs in. And then slowly, slowly start to bend your left knee. Land back in warrior two. Good. Straighten your left leg, parallel your feet. Fold. Good. Then bend into your left knee, flex your right foot. Breathe in. All right, bring yourself back to center, parallel your feet. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Reach back with your hands. You can always have your knees bent. Let your head drop. Steady breath. And then start to release your hands. Lengthen your spine. Walk your hands forward, frame your left foot. Step back into plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe deep and breathe out. 
All right, take your right leg straight back behind you. And then step your foot forward, drop your back knee, take your arms up. Reach up, get long, turn to the right, open your arms. Good, so reach a lot through your back hand, squeeze your waist in, bring your hands to your heart. And then twist, drop your elbow outside of your thigh. And chest lifts, bellies in. You can keep your back knee down there. If you want a little bit more, you lift the leg, heel over the ball of your foot. Pull that right hip back so you're not letting your hips swing out to the right. Steady breath, belly is in. Take one more breath here. And exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Step your back foot in a little bit. Pull your right hip back. Bring your hands onto your hips, bring yourself up. All right, so options for arm variation for pyramid. You can bring your hands behind, interlace your fingers. You can do fists or hidden prayer. Elbows back, chest lifts, and then pull your ribs in. Lift your chest up and exhale. Start to lean out. So try not to round, try to lift your chest, pull the right hip back. Reach forward with your chest, the crown of your head. So you can always have the hands interlaced and do that. Opening up the chest a lot if hidden prayer is really challenging, or you can grab opposite elbows, that works as well. Low belly pulls in, chest opens up a little. Breathe. Good, take another breath. Start to let your hands go. And then step your left foot forward, cross it in front of your right ankle. Lengthen your spine. And then walk your hands over to the right. Squeeze your legs together a little bit. Drop your head. On your inhale, lift, come back to center, and then just step your right foot back, scoot your left foot to the left, and drop your knee. Yeah, take your arms straight up, get really long, drop your shoulders, make sure your left heel is under your knee, low belly pulls in, and then twist to the left, spread your arms. Reach a lot through your fingers, and then bring your hands to your heart and keeping that nice twist. Drop your elbow outside of the left thigh. Belly pulls in off of your thigh. Chest lifts up, shoulders drop. Maybe if you want a little bit more, lift your back knee. Pull your left hip back. Breathe. Last breath here, strong through your legs. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Step your back foot in a little bit. Back heel spins down. Bring your hands onto your hips, come all the way up. And then whatever variation you did on the other side. So hands can interlace, elbows, hidden prayer. Lift your chest. And then exhale, start to fold. Pull your left hip back. Reach forward with the crown of your head, pull your belly in. Press down through that front foot. And see if you can shift some weight into your back leg also. Couple steady breaths. And last one. Inhale, lift. Release your hands down. And then step your right foot forward, cross it in front of your left ankle. Bend your knees a little bit and squeeze your legs together. Walk your hands over to the left. Pull your right hip back. Don't let your hips twist. Squeeze your legs. Drop your head. Couple deep breaths. So your legs stay a little bit firm so you don't twist your hips. 
and then there's a little action through your legs. Reach a lot through your right fingers so you can get a nice stretch on the side of your body. And start to bring your hands back through center. Uncross your legs here. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then push back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. And bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. And so lay down onto your back. We'll do a few back bends. So lay all the way down. Feet flat, parallel. Hands next to your sides. And inhale, lift your hips up. Knees reach forward, shoulders press down. Keep pressing down through your heels and the insides of your feet. Breathe across your chest. Steady, even breath. And then you can start to release your hands and lower. And we'll do that one more time. So heels push down, shoulders press down, lift your hips. And interlace your hands, press your shoulders down, the shoulder blades come towards each other a little bit. Keep drawing in through your low belly slightly, heels push down, then bring your feet a little closer together, shift the weight into your right foot, take your left leg straight up, push down through your right heel, breathe, and last one, and really don't move your hips at all, don't let them shift, bring your left foot down, Switch, keep your hips level, take your right leg up. Breathe, reach out through the right toes. And then slowly bring that right foot down, release your hands, lower down. All right, you can do bridge again or alternate with the legs. Or if you'd like to do wheel, hands will come next to your ears. Right, press through your feet on your inhale. Lift up, palms push down, feet press down, steady breath. Let your neck relax. Draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Make sure you're breathing. Just one more breath. And then start to tuck your chin and slowly lower all the way down. You can bring your knees in, give yourself a little squeeze. I really like after back bends to do plow pose. So you can rock back and forth a little bit and then lift up, scoot your elbows underneath a little bit. This is a great way to stretch the low back, the hamstrings. It's a little less intense than a seated forward fold less intense for the legs, a little bit different for the shoulders and neck. And then you can start to roll down your spine, bring yourself up, and then we will do a regular forward fold. Sit up really tall, take your arms up, and then exhale, reach forward, drop your head. Breathe. And then just one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. And then bring yourself up. And let's take double pigeon. So the uh, left shin crosses on the bottom first and then the right shin either in front so i'll turn this way either in front walking your feet out or you can stack 
your right ankle over your left knee. Keep both feet flexed. Sit up really tall. Drop your shoulders and maybe just a few breaths here. You just want to make sure your bottom heel is underneath of your knee and it's not pulled way in. Right? And that your shins are stacked and parallel to the top of your mat. I'll turn this way so you can kind of see it from that angle as well. Right? So the shins are stacked more forward. And just take a few deep breaths here. You don't have to force this pose. Uh, usually you can start to feel your hips, uh, <clears throat> the tightness in your hips right away. And if you can lean forward a little bit, you can try that, but just don't round, keep your chest lifted. And just a few breaths here. Deep, full breath. Try to relax a little, even though it's pretty intense. Good, two more. And already, you know, my, my knee was way up here when I got into the pose. And just staying here for, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute. If you can manage two minutes, your body just starts to loosen up. You know, it might take time. It might take, you know, months or even years of practice, but it does happen. And being patient is all part of it. And just bring yourself up and we'll switch sides. The right foot goes on the bottom, right leg, left one on top. Just make sure your feet stay flexed. So that really protects your ankle and your knee so they don't turn in any weird way. Chest lifts up, shoulders drop. Keep your neck soft, keep your face soft. And just some, uh, some progress takes a little longer it, it's slow, but it doesn't mean it's not working. So just breathing deep, not trying to force things to happen, but waiting and just letting your body naturally shift. Few more breaths on this side, deep breaths. Good. Last two. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep your face relaxed. Last one. And then bring yourself up. And Bend your legs, give them a little shake, right? You can feel the hips release. And then just one more time, let's move through a vinyasa. It's kind of nice, right, for Shavasana. You know, just moving everything one more time. Step back into plank. You can lower, inhale, and exhale back into downward facing dog. And you can drop your knees or come forward, lay down onto your back. pull your knees in. Let's just end with a twist. Get your hips to the left a little bit. Knees drop to the right. Open your arm. And then shift back to center. Just keep your hips to the right. Knees drop to the left. Open your arm. Turn your head. All right, back to center. One last squeeze. And then come down for Shavasana. So you can extend your legs straight out. You can bring the soles of the feet together or you can cross your shins. I like this one, crossing the shins. It's not as intense on the hips, but it still gives you a nice hip opener. And bring your hands on the front of your body. Take a deep breath in, feel your stomach ribs and chest expand and keep breathing in as much as you can 
Breathe in, breathe in. Hold your breath. And then exhale all the way. Do that again, breathe in all the way. Keep breathing in all the way. And then exhale. One more time, breathe in all the way. Keep breathing in, keep breathing in. Hold your breath. And then exhale, normal breathing. Shavasana. Start to breathe a little deeper. You can extend the legs if they were crossed. And make your way onto one side. And bring yourself up. And bring your hands together. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, bow your head down, namaste. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.